the 1920s classic children's book series, Uncle Wiggily's Adventures, written by Howard R. Garris, illustrated by Lang Campbell, and read by Grandma Nana. Thank you for joining Uncle Wiggily and I. Uncle Wiggily's Visit to the Farm, Adventure One. Uncle Wiggily and Nurse Jane Fuzzy Wuzzy went to pay a little visit to Uncle Butter, the goat gentleman, at the farm. Uncle Wiggily put on old clothes, and so did the muskrat lady. For I am going to gather the eggs, said Uncle Wiggily, hanging a basket on his paw, and I may have to crawl under the barn to find them. Nurse Jane told the bunny uncle to be careful. While you are gathering the eggs, I'll do the churning, said Mrs. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Uncle Butter was going to hoe the potatoes. Uncle Wiggily walked around looking for eggs, and all of a sudden, he saw a nest up in a tree. Oh my, exclaimed the bunny rabbit gentleman. That hen has laid her eggs so high up, I'll have to bring a ladder to get them down. So Uncle Wiggily hunted around until he found a ladder, and then, saying nothing to Nurse Jane or Uncle Butter the goat, the bunny rabbit gentleman started to climb the tree to gather the eggs from the nest. Only he didn't know just what kind of nest it was. Uncle Wiggily climbed up the ladder to get the eggs, thinking he was helping Uncle Butter, when, all of a sudden, a lot of black crows came flying through the air. Caw, 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 cried the crows. Please leave our eggs alone, Uncle Wiggily. And they flew at the bunny gentleman so hard that he had to hold his paws over his ears to save his souse. Oh, excuse me, said the bunny to the crows. I did not mean to take your eggs. I thought these were high hen's eggs. Uncle Wiggily begged the pardon of the crows for having mistaken their nest for ones with hen's eggs in. And then, climbing down the ladder, Mr. Longears hopped along until he came to a barn. He saw a hen lady go under the barn. Aha, thought the rabbit uncle. There must be eggs there. I'll crawl under and see. So Uncle Wiggily crawled under the barn, and when he was halfway through the hole, along came Nurse Jane. Mercy sakes, Wiggy, what are you doing? asked the muskrat lady. Uncle Wiggily crawled under the barn to get some eggs he thought might be there, but he found none. The hen lady had not laid any yet. Uncle Wiggily started to crawl out from under the barn floor, but it was not as easy as it was to crawl in. Uncle Wiggily was stuck. Help, 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 cried the bunny rabbit in wild alarm. Uncle Butter, the goat, and Nurse Jane had to take up part of the barn floor before they could get Uncle Wiggily out. And still, no eggs. After he had been pulled out from under the barn, Uncle Wiggily brushed off the cobwebs and hayseed and walked on with his basket. I must find some eggs, he said. You had better be careful, or you will find an adventure before you know it, warned Nurse Jane. Uncle Wiggily walked on and on, and soon he came to a field where old dog Percival was working on Uncle Butter's farm. Ha! Percival is pulling eggs out of the ground, said the bunny. Here is where I'll get some. At last I have found the eggs. Uncle Wiggily hopped over the fence into the field where, in the far corner, old dog Percival was working. Uncle Wiggily began to fill his basket with what he thought were eggs that had been pulled out of the ground. You see, Mr. Longears did not know much about a farm. All of a sudden... The bad old Skeezix sneaked up behind Uncle Wiggily. This is the time I get his souse, howled the bad chap, as he reached out his claws to grab Uncle Wiggily by the ears. Look out, look out, called the friendly crows. Uncle Wiggily looked up, just as the good crows cried, Caw, caw, caw! The bunny gentleman saw the Skeezix about to grab some ear souse. Oh, what shall I do, cried Uncle Wiggily. How can I drive the ski away? The crows told the bunny to throw something at the ski. But I only have eggs, which Percival dug, said the bunny. Ha ha, 
laughed the crows. Those are not eggs. Those are hard turnips. Throw them at the ski. Uncle Wiggily did, hitting him in his soft and tender nose. Uncle Wiggily pelted the ski so hard and the crows picked at him so much that the bad chap was glad enough to run away. I'll be good. I'll be good, he cackled. I never thought Uncle Wiggily would throw such hard turnips at me instead of eggs. And Uncle Wiggily was much surprised when he found he had been gathering turnips for eggs. But I found a real hen's nest, said Nurse Jane, as she showed her son bonnet full of good eggs. Well, well, said Uncle Wiggily. There are more things on a farm than I thought. When Miss Fuzzy Wuzzy, the muskrat lady, said she was going to go churning, do you know what that means? She was going to make butter. And do you know what butter comes from? Butter is made from milk. And where does milk come from? It comes from cows. And where do hens lay their eggs? Well, if they're living on a farm, they'll pretty much lay them anywhere they can. That was a fun story. Thank you for joining Uncle Wiggily and I. I see you, I love you, and I will miss you until I see you again. All of a sudden, after he had been pulled out Uncle Wiggily pelted the ski so hard and the crows picked at him. Mm -hmm. When Miss Fuzzy Wuzzy, the muskrat lady, when Mrs. Muskrat, mm -mm. I'm gonna have to take a break soon because my tummy's rumbling. <laughs>